We know that electric cars are cleaner, greener and less smelly than petrol or diesel cars, but are they also cheaper? Allow the Vox Network to explain. For now, there's no escaping the fact that electric cars, with their latest battery technology and limited economies of scale, are more expensive to buy than the equivalent petrol or diesel cars. Shut up and take my money! But despite that extra fee you may pay each month, you also need to take into account all the other important and often hidden costs that come with car ownership. Things like fuel, servicing and taxation are all bundled into what is known as your total cost of ownership. Before we start, you should probably know that the price you're paying for a zero emissions vehicle is already being subsidised thanks to government policy. While some countries may use tax rebates, exemptions or credits to encourage electric vehicle sales, other countries have imposed compulsory EV-specific sales targets for vehicle manufacturers to meet. Countries including Italy, Germany and the UK all offer government-funded electric car grants and there are further incentives to encourage the switch to electric. Norway, for example, has incentivised EV owners with half-price fares on ferries, half-price parking, no road tax, no toll road fees and access to bus lanes, all of which helps put money back into people's pockets. The result of these benefits is that more than one-third of all new cars registered in Norway today are fully electric. Cities are also introducing regulations to ensure the air for its residents is both cleaner and safer. So-called low emission zones or congestion zones are specifically aimed at penalising vehicles with high CO2 emissions. If you're not driving into a low emission zone every day, then your most expensive bill will likely be fuel costs. And even the most efficient petrol and diesel cars are still likely to cost between three and four times more to refuel than an electric vehicle. That's because the vast majority of charging takes place at home and smart wall boxes can take advantage of off-peak, low-price energy tariffs. But one thing that's better than cheap energy is free energy, which can often be provided by employers or even shopping centre car parks that want your custom. It's like filling up at a petrol station and getting somebody else to pay for it. If you use a car for business, there are company car tax benefits throughout Europe that make it much more affordable to run an electric car over any vehicle with an internal combustion engine. And while electric vehicles still require servicing, the bills are cheaper because there are far fewer parts to actually service. Electric cars don't need consumables like oil filters or cam belts. They don't need oil changes. And because of regenerative braking, they rarely need brake pads either. Over time and mileage, this gap widens further as petrol and diesel cars start to require more replacement parts. It isn't all win-win for the electric car mind. On average, EVs cost more to insure than conventional petrol and diesel cars partly because the repair costs are higher, but also because there are fewer trained technicians to carry out the work. But on a whole, and despite the higher upfront sticker price, the low running costs of EVs are undeniable and a huge motivating factor when it comes to ownership. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and let us know what you want to learn more about in the next episode of I Speak Electric.